I wanted to give a, an example of an exposure with the, uh, with the prism scanner as it is now. Clearly you place the plant on top of it and you expose it with the, the sun and you get a pattern on your sheet of paper. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to use a, a laser scanner. Okay, so we want to generate a pattern for the laser scanner. And basically at the moment, uh, I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the workflow. So I say, okay, I want uh, half a step per scan line. So in, as a matter of fact, that will expose each line twice. And that is just needed because we need a certain dosage uh, for the reaction to be triggered. And actually I use my laser at half power and then each laser channel, I also use it at half power. So I'm now at 25% of the power. So that's why my the scan speed is quite quite low. So, um, it's, it's completed uh, the, the interpolation. So what does it do? Uh, it reads in the uh, file created by Henry Zeller. Um, it then uh, determines the, the uh, scan width with the uh, parameters I gave for the scanner. So at the moment it's 5.56 millimeters. Ideally it should be around eight millimeters. Um, and because I, I expose uh, twice per scan lane, I have 10,000 lines or uh, for, for one uh, full exposure. And this also do is, so I, I uh, also read in the information and create a plot. So you can see that here. So here I create, uh, I plot back the data and you can see, okay, this should, this should uh, appear at my, uh, at my substrate. So yeah, so I created the pattern file and I now uh, use this method to, uh, to expose it. So I, I have to enter the lane width and the facets in lane, and, and then it reads in the binary and it knows, knows what to do. This uh, method, of course, can be optimized. So it starts by homing the X and the Y axis. This is the command for it. Then it moves to start, so it has to move a bit in the uh, X position because otherwise uh, it's outside of the platform. It reads the binary, uh, which I just generated. It enables the scan hat and then it starts to uh, yeah, expose the lanes. And after that, it turns on of the scan hat and it is uh, finished. So we hit the uh, test print. And as you see, it starts to home uh, the, uh, the laser scanner. And I, uh, I improved the end stop. So this should uh, work now. Okay, that, that was not working in other video. And then it moves back to the position. And I, I cut a piece of the paper and you can see now that it starts to um, expose. So afterwards we develop it in water. So we, we put the, the pattern in water that is needed for this uh, process, of course. How you can put uh, food uh, egg whites under it, or you can put living cells under it. Uh, you can do all sorts of processes. So afterwards, we need to dry it. So that, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so I use a heater for that. And here is the the result. So as you can see, uh, yeah. The lanes are quite sharp and I also have an image of that. So, so these are the lanes. So this is the uh, exposure direction. And here you see that there is an overlap between the lanes. So this pattern is shifted on top of that pattern and that pattern is shifted on top of that pattern. So that's why these lanes do not uh, perfectly align. So that is something I need to uh, fix. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the, the whole process is working uh, quite well. Um, you cannot see the sharp features where the eye can see lines up to, yeah, some, somewhere around this, this mark. Uh, I